What's happening folks and welcome to another episode, basically the return of Rebuilding Sunderland. Um, I did say just taking a break and I said it could come back and I've been true to my word, it has returned. Um, in case you wondering where it went and you're thinking rude way, what was the gap for? Personal problems, family bereavement, I was wanting, I wanted something stable and safer. Not safe, but more, a, a more casual save, which is Man United for me. Just while I get my head straight. So, like I said, I promised you at the start of the year, this FM21 content, that every series will continue until one or two things happens. One, we get sacked, unfortunately, or we achieve our aim. And in the Man United series, spoiler alert, we achieved our aim. We won the Champions League. So, that is the end of that series. So, Sunderland will continue until we win the Champions League with Sunderland or we get sacked. That's basically my two criteria to end the save. Um, may mean that some say has gone long, and you know, we, but that's the nature of the save. So, Sunderland, I have had to update myself because I did the transfers and then I didn't play it for almost a month. So I've had to update myself on what's happening. We have some news on the on the takeover as well, which I'm now going to update, update one now. Update one now, and then we'll do transfers down below in the comment section. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Let's go and look at the uh, news about the, ty the, 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 the tycoon, the, the takeover. So, as you can see here, I couldn't make a note of it because I forgot to do that. But we have the takeover from a local businessman. So, financially, we've got now £11 million in the budget. Uh, well, bank balance, sorry, call it 12. Um, and I did spend a little bit of money on players, not much because of the limited funds that we had. So, let's go through what I did do in the market and show you what I did and try and remember why I signed them. First signing was a loan deal for uh, Dembele, uh, a right winger that I've used before. I don't think I got a, a, a fee in his, his, in his no, there's no fee in his um, in his um, loan deal. Just wanted a decent right winger who could come in with a bit of dribbling and a bit of pace just to give me more depth in that area. Um, I would have liked to sign him, but we haven't got the money yet. Uh, hopefully that will develop down the line. But yeah, a decent loan, decent loan there. Uh, hopefully he might stay if we can structure a deal in a certain way for him if he does really well but we'll have to wait and see on that another loan deal um was for aaron cresswell uh experienced left back just to give me that bit of um crossing ability really um and experience um left back was one of the areas that i was wanting to strengthen if i remember correctly uh in the last season i think i mentioned it um but yeah i just thought like it was a good option to get a loan deal in a lot of the money is on but i need some experienced players just to give me some kind of core kind of uh, experience and quality there. The first sign we made uh, with money was Brit Asambalonga, uh, a player that I love the name. I love the name. I love say Asambalonga. It's a great name, isn't it? Um, and just, it was on transfer list and I got him for 125k. So I thought, you know what? He's got the pace. He's got the finishing. I thought, determination. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a good signing to make um, against the former club today, of course, when we, when we start. He won't, he won't be starting many games, though, um, I don't think. At least not every game, uh, because I think Cummings deserve, deserves a crack at, crack at that. But yeah, I thought for the money we're paying for him, it's a bargain. Plus, if he does decide to leave the club, um, you know, we've got a £1.6 million valuation on right now. So thinking long term about making money, there's a possibility there that that could work out really well for us. And the most expensive signing that we made was Johnny De... John Jordi, I'm going to call him Jordi, a uh, Dutch defender for £1 million. Hasn't quite got the pace on one, but the heading's there, the passing's there, techniques, the passing technique, passing, heading, and tackling are there. Um, good position, not great positioning, sorry, just great bravery. And as far, just wanted to talk a several to come in, to come in, come in, come in and this is the best I could, I could afford, really. I did want to keep Mengi, but they bought the owners at Man United and um, the staff there don't like me anymore. So we were limited to what we could do, really, with, with, with it. But I thought, you know what? Hopefully we can establish ourselves in Champions League, get some more money coming in, and we can move, move forward. But I think a decent signing. So outgoings, not many, only three outgoings, 200k worth of outgoings. I've still got money in the bank. I'm trying to do some more deals, but it's very difficult to do deals at the minute. Uh, I think the expectation this season is, is, is to avoid relegation battle, so we don't have to do that much this season to keep our job, well, other than if they stay up. Um, but yeah, um, I think it's going to be tough. I anticipated this to be very, very tough. I think we will be in relegation battle, just the, the nature of how bad I am at these lower league saves, usually. Um, so, yeah. Um, today's game is against Middlesbrough. Now, I've not played this save in absolutely forever, so bear with me if I don't quite know what team is best to go with. I mean, 
I like the team. I think it's solid. I think the only thing I would like to, to do is get more pace in midfield. That's, but I couldn't find anybody um, to do that with. So actually, let's, let's go back a minute. I'm going to check, make sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, just make sure that everyone was, you know, in this squad that I want, that I want them to be. Um, the goalkeeper, I will. If you watch the previous previous episodes, you'll see I've got a good, the goalkeeper Colin Lewis is very very good, but just 16 year old in there, I'm not quite. Um, so obviously it's a derby, of course, Mills with the uh, Sunderland, of course, um, which is a great way to start off the season. Let's see how we get on, folks. I'm not expecting miracles, but we've got a full stadium now. Now we're in Championship well, well to begin, so that might help us with, with some of the with, with some of the money. One game today, guys. That's all we do. First, let's see episode of this season, season is, is, is one match. Let's see how this plays out. I'm not looking forward to this, but we'll find out what happens. Throw now to Cresswell. Henry says when it flicks it on. Scoring gets it back under control. Yeah, that's her, eh? Ball over the top. Finds Sanderson wide there, but not. Well, for, for, for he didn't. He didn't actually find a long ball over the top. Keeps looking out for that. Keeps looking out for that. Long balls over the top are definitely a thing at the moment in, in my saves. Ball in the box. Cleared. Back to Cresswell. Left hand side. Can he find the ball? Finds Fred in the penalty area. Or Fred, Cresswell, Yara Torre. He's going to shoot. Finds Sanderson. Oh, first chance of the of the game for us. Should do really better. It's, it's a fun It's a right back hit to having the shot, unfortunately. Isn't it? That's the big problem with that one. Henry the corner kick. Swings in the penalty area and it's cleared. Um, yeah, both teams should have probably scored a, foot, a goal so far. Again, just pay for them pass. Well done, yeah. So that's the idea. Sanderson on the left and right hand side in the box. Poor cross again. Cummings! Sunderland won Middlesbrough nil. The first game I've managed in championship for absolutely years. And we've got the lead with Jason Cummings. Um, get in. Um, using that wide play again, the fullback's completely unmarked, though. I think it's a different sort of thing. Good Bob Yara Torre. Finding Sanderson down the right hand side. Puts in the penalty area, and it's a, it's a poor error from the, from the Middlesbrough defender. And it's 1-0 one one to Sunderland. And coming again, folks, scoring goals again. Well, half-time, I'd say we've been the better team. Uh, and they had one glaring chance with the ball over the top. Uh, I made to look at that with the pace, lack of pace in my centre-backs. But Cummings has scored his first real chance of the game he's had. And that's great to see that if he can score goals in this league, that's fantastic. Um, we've got a big guy against Cummings now. I'd love to get a first win in the first game of the season. It'd be, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, great start. Um, just kick on now and try and get another one if we possibly can. It's fair to do the start and it's a poor pass. Pass is a bit weird today so far. Yeah, that's her, eh? Fred. Yeah, that's her, eh? Again, the fullback's air of space. Gets quest well. Look at times he's got to pick a ball. Oh, here. Yeah. Inbox to Fred. And it's two. Sunderland nil, number two. Cresswell is showing one of the things I was keen to have him in for. That crossing ability. He finds a great ball in the box. And Fred, or the wingman, whatever his name is, has found the second goal. And that's a big goal in this match. Gets the ball wide. Cresswell's got plenty of time to pick out a cross here. And it's a brilliant ball in and a good header. 2-0 against Middlesbrough. What a start to the championship, folks. And I'm delighted with that. What a header. Throwing. Spence throws it in. Cresswell gets back in control. Long ball down the line to Cummings. Can he control it and hold it up? He can. Henry. Now Cummings again. Can he beat... Oh, he's got no one with support here. He's going to do, he's gonna do, do very well here. Good ball to Fred there. Fred. Now Cummings. Now Yara Ture in the box to Henry. And oh, Fred almost got the third. But this is working really well so far. We're a better team here, man. We're dominating this game right now. Cresswell with the corner kick. Curls it in to Fred again. Cleared. Then Bellega's going to control. Then Bellega edge of the box. I wide to Cresswell. Got space again to cross the ball about the box. Does really well in the penalty area. Finds Fred. Shoots. Could have been free there very easily. Henry. Careful. <laughs> then Bellega fixes it on. That's a poor. That's just, again, that's a panic clearance on the goalkeeper on it, really. Jesse. Wood for the now. If you get one back now, though, it gets a bit edgy, doesn't it? Just go maintain, maintain focus if we can. Great ball and through. Oh, the keepers. I don't know if it's a keeper error or just a great ball, but I feel like the keeper was there. Those will get one back. Um, Wood gets the ball here. I want to see it again. So look at it again. Should he? Could he? Should he? Should he come out for this? Mm, I mean, you can say he shouldn't go out because he. In hindsight, because he didn't get it, but that's a really poor goal. Really. I think we should do it with that better. It was a straight ball for, uh, back for defence and keeper. If he comes out, just come out a bit early and he gets it, or maybe he just couldn't get there anyway. But just suddenly now, it's a bit of a different game. I'm into Henry. 
Again, we're doing that, we're doing that a lot. Those long balls like that, and we're post playing sharp passes as well. And that's something I need to try and be, be aware of to try and keep the ball a bit better. Fred cuts inside. That pace he has. Great ball, Dembele for on goal, and a good tackle there. Fred, that acceleration there was really, really impressive. Just couldn't quite get the fortune with the with the ball because of the box belt area. Fred a bit of space shoots, blocks, back to Fred again. Oh, just couldn't find that that corner where the keeper wasn't stood, was he? Well, it looks like we're getting our first victory in the championship. If one game in, we've got a victory, bearing a, bearing a massive mistake here. Um, in as long as we might get that, you know. Um, hopefully, there's no no highlight after this. Cover for the whistle, referee blow the whistle. There we go. Sunderland two, Middlesbrough one. I also mentioned that. I also mentioned United. Then good start to the season. It's we have more possession as well, which is good to see. That's encouraging. I mean, I'm not sure where they finished that season. Maybe we can check that actually. But what a start that is for me personally, back in the save, one game in, getting that win. Very pleased with that. Uh, also, um, don't forget, if you like the intro, let me know. It's a very different intro than last time I did this series. Great start. Um, brilliant start. The Cummings getting a goal. Crestle looked good on the left hand side. Let's just check what where they where they finished that season, Sun Middlesbrough. Where did they finish that season, Middlesbrough? Okay, they were 21st last season. So um Maybe we maybe maybe we, that was a big point disappointing. We just beat a relegation rival. I can't see us getting promoted this season. I really can't. But I think we can get to like 16th, 17th when we comfortably away from relegation. I think that's my aim this season. But what a start! We, of course, you never know if we find tech that really works and clicks. Maybe we could get upper upper echelons of the league. Um, in terms of what else, what else I need to show you? In terms of um, the goalkeeper that I talked about before the match. This is the guy, um, Colin Ellis. I'm not convinced he's yet ready for first team football, but he's got a lot of potential. So I'd like to play him uh, if I wherever I can. Um, I just don't know. I'm just wary about playing him in um, these games right now. So next episode, so look when when we're, when should we come back? Um, so should we come back for? Oxford and Birmingham. Oxford and Birmingham games at home and away. That seems like a good area to come back in. Bad games off camera. And then we'll come back for those games there. Any advice, guys, in the tactics you've seen here? I should change anything I should look at? The main thing is definitely the pace in midfield. Uh, we haven't got it. Um, and look at the centre-backs as well. It's just pace down the central areas that I want to try and add on. Not so much in the cam, but they definitely in centre midfield areas. I would like to find more pace. He's seen one player to add into that area. So yeah, we'll come back to you guys for the Oxford and Birmingham games. If you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new as well for daily content. Hopefully we can do well this season. It's going to be tough, I know it is, but hopefully we can do all right. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.